dear Deputy Governor, dear Ministers, dear Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to congratulate you for having created this Tourism Week in Kisumu. I think it shows the passion and the vision that you have for your county. And this is what is needed. And we have just seen at the stands the talented entrepreneurs looking at green innovation and making a livelihood. And we have just seen the talented young people who graced our event with an incredible cultural performance. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're celebrating also the UN World Tourism Day. And tourism is changing. It's changing and what the governor just said. The change is that tourists nowadays want nowadays want to travel sustainably. They do not want to damage the environment with their travels. They do want to learn about the people, the culture, tra traditions, the food, the language of the place that they are visiting. And this is an incredible opportunity once we understand what the needs and the desires of the future tourists are, we can adjust to it. And what the governor just said is that Kisumu has that vision for its county. We want tourism to come to Kenya. We want tourism to come to Kisumu but we don't want that tourism to further destroy the environment. This is why it's so important that we're looking at these aspects today and we're inventing a new type of tourism. And I think not only Kisumu and Kenya, but Africa is a continent of huge opportunities not only for tourism, also because it has the youngest population on this planet. And that population, these young people are brimming with creativity and innovation. We know that there are still hurdles and obstacles to overcome. And the expected population increase by 2025 in Africa will mean that collectively Africa needs to speed up the job creation rate if we do not want to tackle social problems due to unemployed youth in masses. Unique experiences and natural beauty. The environment is beautiful, the people are beautiful, the lake is beautiful, what more do you want? We take pride in our heritage and we recognize the immense potential that tourism holds for our future. For the last five days, the county has been running different activities culminating, culminating to this important day in our tourism sector. During the Kisumu Tourism Week, we witnessed numerous tree planting events throughout the city. Schools, community groups, and individuals came together to plant thousands of trees, not just as an act of environmental stewardship, but a symbol of our unity and shared vision for a green Kisumu. Furthermore, our dedication to an environmental consciousness plays an integral part in our city's revitalization. Through organized cleanup campaigns, we mobilize for volunteers to remove litter and debris from our streets, parks, and water bodies. 
These efforts not only improve the aesthetics of Kisumu, but also contribute to a healthier ecosystem for all living creatures that call this place home. Let me repeat. These efforts not only improve the aesthetics of Kisumu, but also contribute to a healthier ecosystem for all living creatures that call this place home. We hosted a successful Kisumu My Pride City Run Fun held on the 24th of September 2023. A lively and energetic part of exciting activities in our week-long celebration. The run was a chance for all of us to come together, embrace a healthy lifestyle, and strengthen our sense of community. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are not just celebrating tourism, we are celebrating a new vision of tourism. One that is sustainable, responsible, and environmentally conscious. The theme tourism and green investment reminds us of the critical need to protect and preserve our natural resources while reaping the benefits of tourism. As we move forward, Kisumu County is committed to embracing this vision. We understand that responsive tourism can drive economic growth, create jobs, and enhance the quality of life for our residents. At the same time, we are keenly aware of our responsibility to safeguard our environment. We are investing in eco-friendly infrastructure, promoting renewable energy sources, and encouraging sustainable agriculture and fish fisheries. Furthermore, we are fostering partnerships with local communities, ensuring that they share in the rewards of tourism while preserving their cultural heritage. By doing so, we are building a tourism industry that respects and celebrates the diversity of our people. As we celebrate, celebrate World Tourism Day, let us not forget the global context. Travel and tourism connect us with the world, fostering understanding and tolerance. In a world that faces numerous challenges, Tourism must be power to bridge, to bridge divides and to promote peace. It is a force for good that transcends borders. We extend our sincere gratitude to all our partners, sponsors, participants, community members, and the general public for their great support in making this day a huge success. Together, we can invest in our planet our prosperity, and our people, creating a brighter future for the great county of Kisumu and the world. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that tourism, when nurtured in harmony with nature, can be a catalyst for positive change. Kisumu County is committed to leading by example, and we invite all stakeholders, both local and international, to join hands in making tourism a sustainable and green investment. Thank you, and may this World Tourism Day inspire us to protect our planet and embrace a future 